Good evening, my name is Brightops, and welcome to Rogue Legacy. Today is kind of special because I'm not alone. If you'll care to introduce yourselves. So, I'm, uh, I'm Alway, also known as Grey Vested. Hey, I'm Argo, and I'm tired. Conrad, you alive? God damn it. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, he'll jump in eventually. Honestly, there's been trouble with... We've had trouble with stuff like this before because I'm Australian and he's in Poland. Yep, oh, there he goes. Yep, there he goes. Yeah, yep. our, our internets do not like each other. He'll jump in, but he'll jump back in at some point. But yes, we're playing Rogue Legacy. Might as well get started. Um, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm. I, I, I believe you two are familiar with the game. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. I've never really like beaten it, but I have played it a uh, sufficient number of times. I, I I bought this game back when there was a. I can't remember the name of the website. It was like a website dedicated to indie games, and it was like <laughs> it had its own launcher. I can't remember what that is. Well, just because I'm fairly certain you guys haven't actually been watching my videos up till this point, you bastards. We started <laughs> off with Surly, the, origi the original guy, Surly, and moving along through various, various people. Probably the m most important one, of course, is Lady Hiroko here, the legendary barbarian queen who actually killed one of the major bosses. We are moving all the way to our current generation. Who our options are, we've got Lady Brissa the Second, who is an assassin, and a savant. So you're very talented with ver with a few issues. We also have Lady Stefan the Minor, who is stereo blind, so they can't see in 3D, and Trait the One. There is no spork. I have no idea what the hell kind of trait that is. It, it, it's fun in my experience. Like, it's it's silly, but it's fun. And we have Sir Gans the Miner, who is an Endromorph. So you're so heavy, enemies can't knock you back. And what the hell is that? What is that? Yeah. It, 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 it is the banging of cutlery to... to uh, show the coming of the comrade. <laughs> Conrad, you alive? Right. right. He 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 gets his own he gets his own special introduction. No, I mean, you mean the game, fact but... that I've just strolled over a miner when just the sound of what sounds like metal <laughs> on stone is <laughs> <laughs> It's just what the hell? <laughs> yeah, so Gans is also gay. What does that have to do in this game, though? I can't even remember. I, I think it's just, like, a thing. So, which one are we doing? Oh, guess I'm being heard now. Yes, yes. we've been hearing yes. you for a while. <laughs> with your banging I'm of cutlery. Hear you, but yes. With the banging I... of your bloody cutlery. We can hear <laughs> you perfectly fine. <laughs> I, I would recommend trying out the one because it has a neat visual effect. All right, though they are—I can't see in 3D, which is gonna be fun. It's fucking destiny. All right, and so also we've got some see gold. See your subconsciousness, dude. I'm telling you. All right, I also have some gold in order to actually upgrade shit. Let's see what I, I want to upgrade. Because so far we've boosted some health, we've boosted the amount of equipment people can carry, we've boosted some attack power. I could boost up the crit chance. But, you know what, I'll go with health. At the moment, I'll just boost health up a lot. And also a bit of carry weight. Because why not? Fair enough. Let's see, do we have any good stuff to actually upgrade people with? No. I mean, I've got a lot of blood plates, which, or blood limbs, which 
weighs a lot, lowers your max health, increases your magic a little bit, but also gives you vampirism. Which is fun. I'm sure it would be. Your blood is my blood. Well, we got a cape. Capes are cool. We also we also fly a little bit. Ooh. Like Paper Mario. Look at if I turn around and I just yeah. Like your 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 sprite kind of just warps. <laughs> Congratulations, you're in the Matrix. <clears throat> Indeed. God, I gotta play the Paper Mario games again. I need to play it in the first place. They are great. Yeah. I've never gotten through Thousand Year Door myself, but I've had good times with the original. Yeah. Uh, and I, I'm one of the people that loves um, uh, Super Paper Mario, despite the fact that it went away from the turn-based RPG, but it's still a fun game. Yeah. And again, that's also my Princess Peach bias, because she was an awesome character in that. But yes, we are playing a minor who... So basically, the trick with the miner is you get more gold, but you kind of suck at everything else. You're not a good fighter. You don't have a lot of health, you not, don't do as much damage as other classes do. Uh, That's sweet, sweet cash. Have you ever had, was it the dragon or whatever? Where you get the wings and it basically turns the game into a side-scrolling shooter? I have not. I wasn't aware that was a thing. Huh. Die, you big scary bastard. And looting. Looting is fun. Gosh, I wonder if that shaking porch <laughs> Anything suspicious. This, this just reminds me. I need to finish blood, uh, blood stained. Let's do I. Which I believe is also getting a roguelike mode to it. How the hell? Yes. I've seen things like this before. I th there's got to be some sort of trick or something to actually getting up there, but I have no idea what it is. There might be like some wall phasing thing I'm not immediately thinking of. See, I get that, but I'm not... But I haven't been able to find the damn thing. No. I feel this game kind of was the start of the, the non-traditional rogue-like light. Hmm. I will admit I wouldn't know. I wouldn't really know because I'm. Because before this, I wasn't really a big. It's not that I wasn't a big fan of roguelikes. I just didn't get the chance to play them often. Yeah, there's some really good ones out there. One that I particularly love is um. Uh, twenty XX. Oh yeah, that's a fun one. As I said, I haven't played Which, it, so... Yeah, so 20XX is, uh... Damn. Mega Man X roguelite. Pretty much. And Lady Stephanie is dead. But then again, she's a minor, I wasn't really expecting a whole lot. <laughs> Let's see, our next three people, we've got... Lady, <laughs> Lady Bodor, the assassin, the bold assassin. Let's see, Lady Annabelle the Minor, who is stereo blind and has dyslexia. And Sir Dude the Second, the paladin with vertigo uh, and hypo. Let's see, hype. How do you pronounce Hypergonadism. It? Hypergonadism. You, you're permaroided, attacks, knock enemies further. Which can be a big pain in the ass, since, you know, sometimes it's better just to wail on an enemy that. Isn't moving. <laughs> True. Personally, the main reason I'm not going for him is quite literally that vertigo thing. 
Yeah, I, I was yeah. gonna say if you hadn't done it before, do it. But yeah, that, no, yeah. no, nah, yeah, that's that. I haven't, no. but from the fact this portrait's upside down, I can get, I can take a guess as to what that's about. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I I did find it funny, like the the little uh, side effects they would have, like what is it, colorblind that makes everything black and white. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of funny how there is stuff like that where it's just like a little visual filter or sprite replacement or whatever, but it's it's fun for mixing things up a little bit. All right, what? Oh, wait, we can't actually afford that. Don't have any chess ones. I'm just looking at runes at the moment to try and give us some additional abilities, but can't actually afford any of them. Bastard. Alright. Can we... Yes, we can actually improve the nut our boots, though. Which is nice. Yay. Oh. Just gonna love it. The, I love the fact that yes, our character is bold, but they wear a helmet. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that she's a bold, oh. the fact that she's a bold woman is doesn't Personally, actually affect. That is. Yeah, doesn't affect anything. But yeah, personally, I'm one of those weird people where the the thing that ultimately decides whether I try a roguelite or not is if they have character customization. Mm. Yeah. For or against? And, like, I love character customization. Like, and I, and I mean as in like, appear, uh, like visual customization. Yes. Uh, 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 I, mean, I really like that as a feature as well, even if it means I wind up spending like an hour on something that I probably won't be able to see once armor gets put on or something. Well, that's why most games these days tend to allow you to even like hide your helmet or do other... Yeah, that, that is good at least. Oh. Q development time, one month, release date, the m March 18th, 2010. Our fourth project, after t Tribal Tellies, we took a few months off from making games and just focused on our full-time jobs. We got angsty again, so we decided to make a puzzle game. At this point, most of the original founders of Celador Games left to pursue other opportunities, and the unwanted remnants are what compose the company t today. The game used a queuing combo mechanism to force players to think about how the tiles would fall in order to build massive combos. We made it free, but nobody picked it up either. After the failures of Band of Bears, Tribal Tellies, and Q, we prepped ourselves to pack it in and close the company. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, they sometimes just have, like, torches of that of just, like, old games the company has done in the past. Yeah. And, you know, he hearing about that, it's like, it is a very interesting idea for a puzzle game, but at the same time, it's like, it's a puzzle game. They're harder to sell, I reckon. Especially one that kind of looks like Tetris already. Yeah, that, that is one I could imagine lots of people look at going, oh, it's another Tetris clone. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, mainly Tetris sells, because oh, yeah. it's bloody Tetris. Probably, let's be honest, it's probably more addicting than bloody WAP World of Warcraft is. In most gambling games. Well, yeah, there, I believe there is a there's a thing, like, uh, that they called it the Tetris Effect. Where people would actually uh, report that even when they weren't playing Tetris, they would still, like, see, like, faint out uh, outlines of blocks falling down. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> or I think it was, yeah, like, it's been a couple years since I read that article, but yeah. Yeah, but that was most, fit, let's be fair, that was most video games in the 80s, so. 
Just yeah. they had that addictive quality to them. I mean, it is kind of that thing with plenty of those games from that time where you have to have something with a simple premise that can be done over and over again because you don't have the the data space to make a big, overarching, complicated thing. And that's also where Nintendo hard comes from. Yes. Damn. Let's try. I think I bit off a bit more than I could chew with that with those bloody things. I mean, <laughs> well, when you have something like that, that's just basically spraying bullets all over the place. It's kind of BS. Mm. Okay, our new three people: Sir Dude the Second, the Hokage, because there is a Shinobi class, and they are ripping the fuck mm. out of the Naruto si series. Yep. Who is permaroided? Let's see, Lady D, the assassin with PAD. Perpetual artillery disease. Arter I have no idea. Peripheral what arterial disease. No footballs. No footballs. And Sir Igas, the paladin, who has Alzheimer's. You know what? Sir Dude the Second is just the perfect name for Hokage. All right, I think, yeah. Now I'm starting to remember this a bit more. I think you do unlock other classes by building up the tower, your you castle. You do. Yep. Yeah. 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 You unlock and upgrade and all that fun stuff. Well, you increase the crit. We increase our crit chance a bit. So, okay. Oh yeah, I actually need... Shouldn't I shouldn't stop to look at stuff unless I get at least 500 gold or something. <laughs> yeah. Conrad, you still with us, or... You still eating or something? I thought I heard a throat clear. I'm not sure if that was me or not. Yeah, and the thing about the assassin trying is trying to sort oh. out the situation a little. It was. Oh, beer. Beer. <laughs> and he cut out. By the sounds of it. Yeah, the assassin, not the assassin, the shinobi Hokage class is what interesting in that they're kind of a... What's the best way to put it? They've, they do an incredible amount of damage. Like, they've got a lot of output. They're not as ma... Yeah, they're not as magically gifted or anything as certain classes, and... I don't think they have as much health as some, but they do a lot of damage. Nice. Yeah. Hello. We Guys, can... do you know if you can turn off the video feed from the screen share? Wondering if I can save up some resources to hear you right? Um. Yeah, you can. Yeah, there should be. I'm not particularly sure how, though. But at the moment, Prince's Journal. There's a cup. This is the third entry I found. Prince's Journal entry three. I have paid my dues and entered the castle proper. That devil Caron has taken all that I own as payment. He has even pilfered my private coffers. I have left my wife and children with nothing. He says it's the price for any and all who hazard the depths of the castle. He says it is fair. It is fair because of all who have entered, none have returned, but I will change that. I will be victorious. There is no greater swordsman than I, even amongst my siblings. Basically, from what I've seen of the Prince's Journal so far, he is... He's basically one of the princes of the lands. Not He's the eldest, but he's not in line to be king. The reason he's here is because there are rumors of a cure for a disease, and the king has gotten sick. 
So his thought is, if I can go in and grab this cure, I would secure myself and my family as the new heirs of the kingdom. We're not sure how that's worked out for him. Not yet, anyway. Wait, what is... What is... Apparently this room continues onwards. Probably a secret. Yeah. The thing is, I'm not seeing how to access it. Hmm. Maybe it's just there to taunt you. Possibly. <laughs> I'm not ruling that out. Bloody randomness. Oh yes, probably one of the reasons that Conrad is so quick to be able to sacrifice, you know, actual video footage of what's going on is because A, because it makes the connection a bit more stable if he's not also seeing video at the same time. But it's also because since he's been to the orthodontist, does that... Is that the oh. one? Optometrist, no, that's the one. Op op yeah. Oculus. Or as he calls it, Oculus. Yeah. Because he's basically been to an eye doctor and had eye drops, he is currently basically blind to things at close range. So he can't see shit. At least not. At least nothing that isn't bloody within. within f over f three, five feet of him. And of course, in games like this, you break everything, because everything is profitable. I just realized I probably don't have access to this game anymore. I think that store that it was originally sold on is, well, gone now. Well, it's on Steam. Yeah, that means buying it again. <laughs> Actually, I've probably got it in Home Bundle or something. I mean, hopefully, if it, uh... If it was a store worth its salt, you would hopefully still be able to, like, ha download their some legacy yeah. service. Alright, we've got a blueprint of a knight sword. Nice. Because I think we're using Squire at the moment. So I think a knight sword just does more raw damage. It should be good. Bad puppy. Bad. <laughs> I think I've never really gotten beyond the forest myself. Yeah, I will admit, it's the last couple of... <coughs> Videos we have. Can haven't... you guys at least hear me right? Yes, we can hear yes. you perfectly fine. Honestly, we could hear you perfectly fine from the get go. It's just a matter of, you know, cutlery. Scraping on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yes, my current magical ability on... Okay, so it's on the, on the, only that I hear your replies after, like, 16 seconds. Oh gosh. Uh, I'm not yeah. sure this much sense, I'm a bit like, in my bed. Don't you just love... love lag? Uh... I love lag! Does remind me. I had horrible lag earlier in the game. Probably the worst lag of it. 
It was like a... How bad was it? It was a 1,500 ping lag. Oh, wow, that's bad lag. <laughs> yeah! Shit! My flying abilities have failed me! <laughs> Sir Dude the Second slipped and fell and died on spikes. Shame. Well, he kind of deserved it with that name. Hmm. Alright, our three people. Lady Noel the Paladin, who is flexible. The trait being that you are very flexible. And Dwarfism. So she's small. She she's small. Yes. Yes. Lady Brezza the second, the miner, who is far-sighted and got Gigantism. So in dedication to Conrad, anything up close is blurry. And Sir John the Barbarian King, who has... Clumsy, so they break a lot of things, which isn't a bad trait to have, honestly. And... Corporal... I have no idea how to pronounce it, but basically just means that he swears like a sailor. <laughs> yes. So... D so let's see, which one do we want to go with? I'm in favor of huge... Yeah, person. H huge barbarian... That was it, right? No, that's right, he's huge and sees far. Yeah. This one isn't a barbarian, it's a miner. Miner, ah. Uh... Kind of disappointing. Yeah. That actually, hasn't your best run so far been a miner, at least today? Um... Not sure, because they're not sure, because they've all gotten something in their way. <laughs> um, honestly, I'm, I'm going to go with Lady Noel because I haven't done a dwarf yet. Currently, my most successful person was the gig was a gigantic barbarian queen, but... You know what? We'll try something a bit different. Look at her, she's small. She's so small. <laughs> cannot, such a small. Yeah, cannot quite afford the sword, but whatever. Wait, what? Ah oh, yes, because we have new stuff. I was wondering why there was like an exclamation point. <laughs> The castle reshapes itself anew. I mean, I have the option of keeping things the way things were, but... But that costs money, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, it costs, yeah. like, a percentage of the amount earned. Yeah. And that's not happening! <laughs> got you know... to have money. Oh god, I remember that. The Tom and Jerry movie, isn't it? Yep. Die, evil canvas! You're actually doing pretty good with this. Mm. Kind of surprised because you've got such a small. Yeah, well, easy radius. to. But it also means that you have a uh, smaller hitbox as well, well or hurt box as they call it. I also it. think I I also think I jump higher. Uh, that's probably just more of a visual effect due to. Yeah, it just seems like it's taller because of uh, being smaller and yeah. Yeah, it's it's like when I play uh, when I play Ruby on Final Fantasy fourteen. She seems like she runs faster. Than everyone else, it's just because she's a Lala fell. So yeah, she has to keep the same base speed as every other playable race. Mm-hmm. I destroy everything around me because I am small and angry. <laughs> I'm so. Uh, I would have loved it. Would have loved it if it was like you know a freaking um, 
You also had the uh, permanent roid rage, or whatever it is, the permanent oh, roid effect. Oh, that would be great. Yeah. Yeah. You, you would... <laughs> You'd basically just be a small, be a angry dog. You'd be a small, <laughs> angry dog. Or, or that one line from one of the Simpsons episodes of where it was like the future vision, it's like, Come on, Millhouse. There are so many girls out there that would love a emotionally unstable mini Hulk. Because <laughs> yeah, it's like he keeps trying to impress Lisa, so he gets really muscly or something. Breaking, breaking, breaking all the shit. Of course, it's also the uh, the classic. Uh, why are dwarves always depicted as being angry? Because their body, their eye height to everyone else's crotch. In the wise words of Terry Pratchett, do try not to piss off someone who's at who they don't they don't have they have to reach up to hit your groin. Yeah. <laughs> And then you have those shifty-eyed gnomes that can actually pretend to be children and get away with it, which makes them even pretty more tricksy. And of course the halflings, who are selfish little bastards who don't actually provide any any meaningful benefit and eat everything. Also <laughs> stealing shit. Yeah. Ha halflings make some of the best rogues because of that. Uh, what is it? Uh, the Dragonlance setting where you have the the ch uh, the Kenda or whatever. Oh yeah, who don't really have a, a, a concept of property. Yeah, so they actually like it's like part of their character uh, uh, stats to actually steal shit. Mm. Yeah, I will admit the thing that came to mind is how halflings are treated in the Warhammer setting. Particularly Warhammer <laughs> fantasy, though... To be fair, they do actually mention halflings in Warhammer 40k. They are mentioned. They're still thieving little shits, they're just called something else. Um, what were they? Rattlings, that's it. Because... Because... Yeah, they're called Rattlings because they're small and... Well, they're still... Th they're still Halflings, it's just that they're known for being... Thief... They're known for being thieving little buggers. They also just sort of have the benefits of their... They make really good scouts and snipers. Which is sort of why the Imper why the Imperium hasn't wiped them out yet, because they actually can be useful for stuff. It's like Ogrins. Hmm. Also, thank you for putting the image in my head of, like, a halfling carrying around a huge fuck-off rifle. Yeah, that's <laughs> basically what Ratlings are. Yeah. I... I was running a um, Shadowrun uh, campaign about a year ago that uh, Orway was part of, and I decided that I was going to have a rat folk, basically, you know, uh, either rats or humans that were uh, caused by the surge to essentially be rat folk. And so, of course, I ambush them with a rattling gun. Alright, reason because... I didn't kill shit in that one is because of fairy chests. I'm pretty sure you're both aware of those. Oh, Though well, it has... like the challenge chests, right? Yeah. 
They give you a challenge you have to achieve, and then they expect you to do it. No matter how impossible it might be, it might actually be. Shit. Ah, oh, well. Admittingly, she lasted longer than you would expect. <laughs> Alright, who's our new lot? Let's see... Sir Oct Octeva, the miner, who has... Gl glaucoma, so it's dark, and... How the hell do you pronounce that? Prosopagnosia. Okay, can't tell people apart. All right. Oh, lady. That, it, huh? Is that just gonna have like all enemies just appear as like generic sprites or something, or is it like you can't? I don't know. Hmm. We also have Lady Blair the Second, who is an archmage, who has glaucoma as well, so it's dark. Also has, also is terrified of chickens. And That's... Sir Gouda the Second, who is the a Hokage who is gay and stereo blind. Take your pick, gentlemen. I'm kind of interested in the the can't tell people apart because <laughs> I just want to know. Let's see what that is. <laughs> yeah, I'm in favor of that. Yeah. All right, let's try it. Damn it! Cannot upgrade the miners. Yes. Ah. Which is annoying, but. What can you expect? Damn miners wanting fair compensation for... I don't know. Words. You, you're going somewhere with that. Yeah, I, like, I thought I could do something about, like, fair trade and unions and stuff, but, like, I can't. We know you're lying. It's fine. <laughs> Right, we've got a knight sword now, we got a new sword. So it's grey like the rest of our shit. <laughs> Yay. Oh, we actually have a chip we have actually have a chess piece thing we can give to stuff. Huh. And it's a good one too. Unfortunately we can't afford to get it right now. Oh yes, the thing about the guy at thing about the guy at the bridge is you actually... Normally he takes all your stuff, but... Because of... I bought some upgrades, that means that he only takes 80% of the gold I've got rather than all of it. That I'm entering the place with. Because I, I think I can upgrade it all the way to 50%. So useful for, you know, actually building up the amount of cash you've got over multiple runs. But... Uh, okay, I think I see what the effect is. I'm guessing it's... Basically, it doesn't show you the name prop on it does, but it sort of blinks on and off and you attack an enemy. So, it doesn't really... Have a serious effect. Huh. Huh. Alright. I mean, you know the annoying thing? If I could have actually upgraded the miner, I would have been able to give him a headlamp. <laughs> but basically, turn on his headlamp, which I can't do at the moment. Yeah. Damn, my flying ability! Holy crap! <laughs> oh well, yeah, that's those. That's some fireballs. Yeah, I will admit it. I will admit it. I'm kind of noticing the whole glaucoma thing a bit. Is a bit more obvious. Yeah. And my ma the match the unique and magical ability this guy starts off with is the fact he can cut he can create a ball, create fireballs that circle him. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Always handy. Indeed. That reminds me of freaking the, um... What's it called? Pike Ball in, uh, Shantae was one of my favorites to use. Yeah. Because there's... There, there, there's use in being able to surround yourself in a zone of fuck off. Mm. I mean, well, you could just cheat so many bosses with that. Mm. Yeah. Ah, yes, the what would have normally been the boss of this area, because we've killed it, the door is closed. Hmm. Is Conrad still trying to join the chat, or has he given up? Mm, he He's given up at this point. The, it, the video's gone too much for him, and unfortunately it looks like there's no way of turning it off while being in the chat at the same time. Okay, this is new. Yeah. And those are some fireballs. Yes, actually hitting the shield of these things knocks you back. Hmm. It's actually kind of a nice way of showing, uh... Frickin', uh... Just how sturdy it is. Yeah. Yep, if you can hit him in the back... Oh, uh, this is... You know, I'm kind of glad I can fly, because it makes platforming things like that a hell of a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I hate it. I mean, God, I say sometimes a lot before I start saying shit, but uh, I hate it when you get like sprites that are supposed to be part of like the background, but you immediately think, oh god, that's an enemy, and you try and attack it. Like that, I think it was the bird or whatever flying in the background. Yeah. It happens. Ah, the, one of the good fairy chest objectives. Killing everything. It's like, oh yeah, the thing I was planning to do anyway. <laughs> good old night wave. Kill 150 enemies! <laughs> Or it's like complete mission or whatever. Oh god. Yeah, that hmm. Yeah. I mean it's a minor, so to be f to be fair, you weren't it's a, you don't expect much from them. It's a minor issue. Uh, <laughs> okay, our three people. Lady Stark, who is a barbarian queen. With no positives or neg no positives or negatives. Sir Grey the Hukage, same deal. And Sir Fleming the Lich. Lich. I remember Lich being good, because I believe you can actually, yeah, you gain health by killing. Yeah. Yeah, that that's exactly what it is. Oh yeah, I think I know what that achievement that popped up was. I think that's what we moved through 20 heroes. <laughs> we have the option of upgrading the Lich. Which gives them the ability to convert max HP into max M magic points. You know what? Yeah, Why not? I'm... Why not? Yeah. Raise your liches into lich kings and grant yourself the power of both mind and matter. With a single press, convert your permanent health into permanent mana. Yeah, because I believe there is a cap on your actual health. So you essentially build up, transfer, build up. Hmm. What the hell? Colorblind. You lie? Oh. Oh, that's what... Smart son of a bitch. That's what the actual thing is. The thing that you don't recognize people. They all look the same. You don't... When they die, you don't get to see what traits the next people have. Uh, oh. oh my god. Oh. Oh. 
That is delightfully meta. <laughs> well played, good sir. Well played. <laughs> it took me a moment to realize we were talking about. It. Like, wait, the lich wasn't colorblind. So it's like that explains why none of them had bloody stuff. <laughs> See, I, I thought it was just basically giving you wrong enemy names when you were attacking them or something. Clever bastard. <laughs> but yes, welcome to color. Welcome to colorblinds, where no one can see shit. <laughs> Admittingly, it does give it a kind of... It does give the game kind of a... Um, very oldie horror movie kind of feel. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you got the skeletons. And of course the zombies who are, will pop out of nowhere. <laughs> you just need a... you just need bloody Frankenstein's monster. I wonder what the max HP thing you can actually gain. That's a dead end! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> In both senses of the world. I am going to go grab a drink. Fair enough. Alright. Okay, we got another... Ah, uh, that's my alarm, so this will be the final character of the thing. Alright. Alright, we've got another portrait from the developers. Met Full Metal Furies. Development time, four years. Release date, January the 17th, 2018. Full Metal Furies is from the future. It's our follow-up game after Rogue Legacy and the 10th game we've ever made. After L... RL, we promised ourselves we would never make a game without planning it out ever again. We lied. Curse you past selves. The game ended up becoming one of our most ambitious projects ever, and it was a mishmash of a brawler slash multiplayer slash meta puzzle slash coming of age disco ideas that turned the traditional view of a brawler on its head the longer you played. After four hmm. years, FMF is the longest game we've ever spent on development, and sadly also has some of the lowest returns we've seen for our games. Excluding those I iOS's games, with which generate ba negative bucks, curse you ourselves. But we're still immensely proud of what we created, and even more proud of the friends we made along the way. Ah. So it was all... Thanks to the magic of friendship. Yep. No, not really, but they 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 learn the magic of friendship. That's what I should have said. Yeah. Yep, it's just saying that friendship that friendship rarely pays the bills. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I mean, unless... we don't live in a world where friendship is a you know tangible energy source. Yes. Or in a. I'm trying to think of like, but there's plenty of games out there where friendship does equal gains. Like I don't know the Dragon Quest. I mean not Dragon Quest. Dragon Age games tend to give you benefits for having strong friendships. I and of course the Sims. Um. F damn it, Fire Emblem does to a degree. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Just because the people who slay together stay together. Yeah, I mean, uh, Fire Emblem Awakening had the broken combo of basically just uh, pairing up people, and if, especially if they had, what is it, Gale Force, you'd essentially be able to have like a single bloody pairing. 
pretty much wipe out half a map in a single turn. Jeez. Yeah, it's a good thing full damage isn't wings. a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Also, we are not going into the attic just yet. We are not prepared for that. Or at least I don't think we are, anyway. I mean, we, can't, we haven't even done the bloody forest yet. Um, oh yes, but, oh yes. Argle, because you missed it while you were getting your drink, the, my alarm went off, so this is the final character we're going to be doing for this episode. Yeah, I heard. I still had my headset on. Ah, didn't real know that. Yeah, I just muted. Here, Wolfie, Wolfie, Wolfie. The power of fire wins out. <laughs> Damn those orco looking bastards. For me for me the first thought when I see those is the frickin' um Sabrosians from Oracle of Seasons. Yeah, I, I just wanted to go for the more um the uh what would you call it? The Retro? Yeah. <laughs> Bloody hipster. <laughs> uh, I, just, I was just thinking about um, He-Man the other day because they, you know, there's a new She-Ra cartoon I wouldn't be surprised if they actually got around to making a new He-Man Yeah, I could see it happening hmm. Eventually I mean, it is kind of the case that everything kind of goes around when it comes to nostalgia. Yeah, I'm just I'm disappointed that the the He-Man series they made in like what early 2000s got cancelled because it was getting good. Yeah, I vaguely remember catching a few episodes of that, and it was decently entertaining, as I recall. Yeah, I believe they they were sort of hint like. I think they sort of ended on a cliffhanger where uh, there was like lizard people that were, I think, trying to turn others into lizard people. I can't really remember. See, you say lizard people, the first thing that comes to mind is the thunder. There was a thundercat cla re thing they did a while back. That was actually pretty good. Yeah, the the remake or the reboot or whatever that. Yeah. Yeah. God damn headless horses, why are there so many of you? Just bloody everywhere. I I can only assume someone did not like horse heads. Or if they're necromancers they liked horses a bit too much. Yeah. Oh god, magi everywhere! Also, eyes. Why are there yes. eyes? Bloody, bleeding, uh, bleeding eyes. Too bad you can't just run around them in circles to make them go, get dizzy and kill themselves. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I can't help but feel like the Lich's ability to gain health from killing shit is the only reason we're still alive at the moment. <laughs> Also, you why was Santa? Yeah, I why saw. Why was Santa in the background? Nope, that's not gonna happen. To hell with <laughs> that fairy. To hell with that fairy challenge. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, hey, it's like you know, S S Santa is one of those secretly kind of creepy things. Yeah, you know, just. <laughs> Bullets. He sees you when you're sleeping, he knows when you're awake. Mm -hmm. 
from another one from the developers, Buddha's Odyssey. Development time, 3.5 months. Release date, November the 29th, 2011. Bullet, Bullet Odyssey was our very the ver very last game prior to working on Rogue Legacy. Being a bullet hell that was based on rhythm and beat charts, Bullet Odyssey was the most technical challenging game we have ever worked on. Yes, even more so than Rogue Legacy. Just to create a stage required three editors running in unison. Development for this game was also a little non-traditional, as a lot of pre-planning was required to make sure everything clicked. Being heavy advocates against documentation, this didn't settle well with us, so we had to t talk out the whole game for like half a day. The game had the player absorbing enemy bullets in order to fire them back, and absorption happened on a beat which matched the song being played. Initial playtests were disastrous, as the game was too hard and people became incredibly frustrated in the very first minute. By playtests, we mean one dude who doesn't even like bullet hells, but that's larger than our usual test pool. The game didn't perform very well when it released. That gave us the confidence to make Rogue Legacy. Man, three, three and a half months to make, and here I am trying to learn how to code and make my own game, and it's been a year. Well, you, you gotta start somewhere. Yeah. Actually, the biggest problem I'm having with making my own game is more of just like it's gonna be the assets because I can't I can't draw. I can draw. Oh, yeah, but I mean, sneaky wolf, sneaky wolf. That that would be a that. It's something I, I definitely wouldn't want to ask you to do and. Hmm. It's just, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of payment on my end either way I go. Yeah, that's fair enough. Because I, yeah, I've been talking with some artists trying to figure out if my idea could work, and they're like, yeah, it can work. And I'm like, hey, now I just have to save up and pay people to do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the kicker. It's basically that's the, that's military doctrine for you. You can do anything can be done. It's just a matter of how much of being able to pay for it. <laughs> and yeah, I I, rec I took a couple of semesters of a uh, game development classes, and it is kind of one of those things where yeah, you there is so much effort that has to go into making something that works well, especially yeah. if you're kind of not used to it. Yeah, which is why it's like, it's kind of daunting, but also impressive when you have like a, a game like Kenshin, or is it Kenshi? Kenshin? That comes out like a 10 year project that's a one man made game. Yeah, like, my god, I'm I am still impressed and in love with one of the facts that like Cave Story was one of those like one man project type deals. Yeah, and I mean, that would have been easier because of the style of art it uses, whereas Kenshi, Kenshin, I can't remember its name. I think it's Kenshi. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's 3D. Oh, I've been this way before. And Whoops. <laughs> even, even has a freaking, um, it's all, like, the combat is physics-based. Yeah, yeah. Do, doing stuff in 3D definitely <laughs> brings things up a bit more. Yeah, because as a test, I actually got a model for one of my characters made, and that set me back a pretty penny. Yeah. But hey, I got a 3D model of her, so... So what kind of game is it? Just for those people watching at home? So, what I'm going to be making is essentially like this. It's going to be a side-scrolling roguelite. <sighs> But the uh, the actual gameplay isn't going to be uh, real time. Instead, it's going to have like a a time based sort of system where time will stop when you get to a 
combat and you basically have to plan out your actions for the next five seconds and then you know when you actually initiate your actions plus the enemy's actions will play it at the same time damn it's slain by a blob a blob yeah though on the plus side sir fleming here killed a hell of a lot of shit sure did all right, yeah. that will be it for now. Well, thanks for mm -hmm. joining us. My name is BrightOps. I am Argo. I'm all the way. We're sorry that Conrad couldn't really join us due to connection issues, because... reasons. Bloody... Eh. Yeah, bloody cheap inter Australian internet trying to... It doesn't play nice with Polish internet. It really doesn't. And we'll see. We'll talk to you all next time. Bye bye. Yep. Bye. Bye.